These are the top stories of the week. Samsung introduced a new VR headset. Looks like the new Google Nexus phones leaked. Google's in hot water and more. At the Oculus Connect conference, Samsung announced a new Gear VR headset. The company says it's lighter and more comfortable than before. The new Gear VR will work with Samsung's S6 line of phones and the Note 5. It's priced at $99 and it ships in November. Well, what about content? Oculus announced a VR compatible version of Netflix is now available with apps for Hulu and Vimeo coming soon. As for games, Microsoft says expect to see Minecraft in the first half of 2016. This week, the Google Nexus 6 showed up on eBay and Amazon with big discounts. Normally priced at around $500, the Nexus 6 is available at around $300 at eBay and $350 at Amazon. This discount looks to rid retailers of inventory because Google will hold a Nexus event on September 29th. We are expecting two new Nexus phones and this week, photos of both surfaced. There's the Huawei Nexus 6P and the LG made Nexus 5X. They both come in a variety of colors and look pretty slick. We'll see if these photos are accurate next week. And in other Google news, Bloomberg reports that Google is under investigation. The United States Federal Trade Commission is looking into antitrust allegations regarding Android, Google's mobile operating system. Competitors are claiming that Google is giving priority to its own services on Android. The European Union is also investigating Google for the same reasons. Very quickly, here are some other big news stories you should know. Apple's new iPhones have hit stores. Microsoft released Office 2016, and Netflix is commissioning 12 episodes of the Twilight Zone-like Black Mirror. Let's take a look at what flew under the radar this week. Quirky, the company behind the Wink smart home platform, filed for bankruptcy. That doesn't mean the company is done for. That just means that it needs to sell off assets to handle its debts. Quirky says it will sell its Wink smart home platform to the highest bidder and hopes a sale will be final in 60 days. Right now, the front runner to buy Wink is Flextronics International at $15 million. There's still time for another buyer to appear. Why is this important? Wink's smart home hub is actually pretty awesome. It can handle home automation quite well, and it works with all kinds of different smart home devices like the Nest thermostat and Philips Hue light bulbs. At $15 million, it could be a steal for a major company to snap it up. Maybe Microsoft or Apple. For more information on everything tech, go to CNET.com. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, signing off.